guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be doing the furry friend tag or furry pet tag, whatever it's called. I was inspired by Steelababe09 to do this video and I knew probably three weeks ago I had a video and Daisy was in it and I said I would make another video talking about ferrets because it is kind of a different pet. I figured this would be a really good tag to do that way I'm just not sitting and talking about a ferret. This makes it a little more fun. So as you can tell, she doesn't stay still ever. So I don't know how this video is going to go with her. Just bear with me. The first question is, what is her name or his name? And Daisy is a girl. Her name is Daisy. I just, I had the name picked out before I went to the store. I was like, if this ferret is a girl, we're getting it. Because I want it to be named Daisy and it's perfect. So, yeah, this is Daisy. It's a ferret. I don't think ferrets have breeds. I just think they're called ferrets. Obviously, I bought it from a pet store. I didn't just take her from the wild. <laughs> so, a domesticated ferret. I have had Daisy for two years. <laughs> Where's time gone? How did I get my pet? Well, when I was like seven, I had a ferret. My cousins had ferrets and my mom fell in love with them because, I mean, some people are kind of freaked out by them but they have literally the best personalities in the entire world. They, this ferret plays tag with you, like, she just always wants to be around you. When she's really tired, she'll cuddle with you. And so when I was seven, my mom fell in love with them, and we got one. Unfortunately, it got sick, and we had to put it down after, like, three years. So then my mom didn't want another one um, until recently. I was saying I wanted one. And I went through a phase a couple years ago where I was really, really, really sad. So, to make me happy, er, she got me a little friend. Huh. My pet is two years old. And she's still a little baby. She didn't grow that much from when I got her. Like, she can still fit in both my hands. She's a little midget. What are some quirky things about my pet. She loves playing tag, which I think is so cute, and she loves, we call it playing football. I don't like actually kick her, I just, uh, when we're on the tile, I'll just tap her, and then she'll like slide, and then she loves it, and then she runs back and lays down to do it again, so that's pretty cute. She, we had another ferret for about a month that was my friend's, we were, she was trying to sell it to someone, and we just held it for her because she ended up being allergic. And my ferret never made noises before that, and the other ferret <laughs> made a ton of noise. And so she kind of picked that up, so now when she's really excited, she squeaks, like, not literally like a squeak, but it, it's hard to explain. She just makes a little ferret noise, and it's really, really cute, and she bounces and makes a noise, and yeah, that's about all the cool special things about you, huh, Daisy? She is so over being held right now. What does our relationship mean to me. I really, really, really love my girl Daisy and from what I've heard when my friends come over and hold her that she acts differently when I'm holding her than like when a stranger's holding her so that makes me feel pretty good about myself because she knows who her mama is and yeah she's a sweetheart and she really like if you're sad or whatever just letting her out she gets so excited and squeaky and just wants to be around you 24-7 so it always just like Woo. always just puts you in such a like better mood so I really really appreciate her for that and I mean she doesn't really act on me like I don't really know what I do to her but I'm assuming since she follows me around and squeaks all the time I'm assuming she likes me too so that's always a plus although you couldn't tell she likes me right now because she doesn't even want to be by me what are some of my favorite pastimes with Daisy? When she was a baby baby and she slept a lot more, you could just let her play for like 30 minutes and she'd get tired and then she'd fall asleep in your arms and like we'd just watch a movie and she'd be sleeping on me and cuddling and I think that's my favorite thing because it's rare for her now to get tired enough to like just cuddle and sleep with you. All she wants to do is run, which is part of their personalities, but I just loved when she was a baby and all she would want to do is play and then cuddle and also when we had the other fairy or my friend had a fairy and we did play dates they were always really cute to see their reactions and how their personalities mixed together so those are probably my two favorite pastimes with her what are some nicknames I call my pet um Daisy Duke 
I don't know how that came about. My mom is just a freak with pets and started calling her Daisy Duke. Also, Dazer. That's what I normally call her is Dazer. So, just those two. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video, learning a little bit more about a ferret. Um, to answer a couple other questions that I know I could probably get in this video, ferrets can stink. You have to take care of them. You have to give them baths, clean their ears. My ferret's cage gets cleaned once to twice a day. We gave her baby ferret food for the first year of her life until she stopped eating it. When she stopped eating it, we stopped making it, but we just took the ferret food and you get it wet and let it soak and then mash it up and that's baby ferret food. Besides that, you just have to let them run a couple hours a day. They do need attention. My old ferret got to run around 24-7 because we didn't have a doggy door and my old dog and cat all got along with her. My new dog, she is so over this video. My new dog is a hunter and like kills rats and stuff so obviously we don't get to let her run when they're out so we just put the dogs outside and give her a couple hours of run time each day so I'm pretty sure that's all. Give them baths, clip their nails, clean their cage a lot and just give them attention and that's pretty much all you have to do. They live in a cage obviously. Yeah that's pretty much I think all the main things about a ferret. So. If you guys have any other questions about them, let me know down below if you want me to do this tag with my other dog, my other dog, like this is the dog, with my dogs. I have a puppy and then an older lab. So yeah, if you guys want that, let me know down below and make sure to subscribe so close to 200. I feel like I say this too often. Um, but okay, Daisy is over this video, so I'm gonna go let her run around, so. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Say bye, Daisy. Say bye.